Good morning. I'm Dr. Amy Courtney Parks, and this is Private Practice. And there's no way I could ever be compared to the incomparable Joe Muirhead, who is normally in this chair uh, on another continent, but she's normally doing this as private practice. And I have the privilege and honor of uh, taking her slot this morning. And so I'm really thrilled to be doing that. And for so many reasons, I can't compare to Joe Muirhead. Um, not only is she Australian and she is a blonde, um, but she's also brilliant. And her ability to help tease out mindset and business strategy and um, think through a launch of a program or how to take care of yourself. I mean, just really um, a 360 coach. Is that such a thing? I don't know. It's just, it's just pretty amazing what she's capable of. And um, so there's no comparison uh, between myself and her, but we are talking about comparison today. So let's get into it. The truth of the matter is, um, just to, I guess, give you a little background, first of all, this video thing is kind of hard, by the way. This is like my seventh time recording this, and I've just decided to just plow through because I'm comparing this video to the previous videos and what the potential could be in future videos, and I'm never going to finish this video. So here we go. Uh, I'm in private practice in Northern Virginia, right outside of DC. My practice is called The Wise Family. We see children, teens, and families. And um, I have a really fantastic staff who do a variety of different things with families, including play therapy and expressive therapy, CBT, and working memory training and assessment, all kinds of things. So in addition to that, I teach at a university and I work as a clinical supervisor um, at a psychiatric hospital in our area. So I'm busy. And that's not to compare myself to people that are busier or, or are not as busy. I just enjoy doing a variety of things. So I am talking about comparison today, if you can't already tell. And it comes up a lot all the time. We're thinking about how do we compare ourselves to others? When my, I have four kids, and when my two um, oldest sons were born, the first one was just super easy. Have any of you had that experience? Super easy. Never cried, super huggy, really sweet and, and snuggly, and ate everything, and said, uh, you know, 100 words by the time he was one, like, you know, genius. And my second son, who is also a genius, but... Um, had a little bit more difficulty when he was when he was young. He um, he was allergic to milk, and um, he had these kind of big tantrums, and all of this stuff would happen. And I was constantly saying, "Why do I have two sons that are so different? Why?" I was constantly comparing this to that, him to him, and how this experience was different from that experience. And at one point in time, I finally just was like, uh, "They're both two different human beings." And they're both having very different experiences in their bodies and in the world. And how dare I think that they should be the same. So then I started embracing the comparison. And I think the key is how dare we think that we should be the same as anyone else. That's not the way we are created. And there's absolutely no conceivable way, even for identical twins, to have all of the same things uh, same experiences, same feelings, same physical manifestations of different choices that we make throughout our lifetimes. How dare we think that we could be like somebody else and how, what a privilege it is to be unique. So it's taken me a long time to get to that realization. And to tell you the truth, I forget it most days, but when I'm stalk talking specifically and I'm being requested to speak about comparison and comparisonitis, it's a little bit easy to pull up. I want to give you some perspective on why we compare ourselves to others and why we compare two different people to one another or why in a classroom we're constantly comparing all the students and we have to create some kind of norms or, or social standards. And that is because our brain makes social judgments on a daily, minute-by-minute, -minute, constant basis. And our brain does that, looks at different things, situations, and figures out the norm and the standards. To tell you the truth, because it gives our brain, it, it relieves the cognitive load of what we have to think about on a regular basis. So what that means in regular language is that our brains are too lazy to think about ourselves and we have to constantly compare ourselves to others. That's the truth. 
So how do we get out of this lazy brain and into an everyday mind? That is a big question and that is a big challenge. And one of the things that works the best for me is to really see visually and to really write down the things that I think that I'm good at, the things that I'm contributing, and the directions that I want to go in. So oftentimes I have to pull that back up again and look at it when I'm seeing someone else doing something fantastic. And that doesn't mean I don't change course along the way when I see something amazing and I want to kind of go that direction but it's really more intentional than it's ever been before. What happens to a lot of people that get stuck in comparisonitis is that they end up doing 75 things uh, that none of them there are doing well. And when you have a direction and some thoughts about what you're good at and what gifts you bring to the world, it's, you're able to really be more focused and to really move that needle a little bit more intentionally. So, the, the message today is to use your everyday mind to be intentional about the direction that you want to go in and for us all to stop comparing ourselves to each other and celebrate one another and enjoy the strengths and, and the, the, the beauty that we all have um, to bring to bear uh, and we can all work together. We can always ask for help. We can always help each other. So I wanted to share that today for This is Private Practice. Uh, I'm Dr. Amy Parks. I'm really thrilled to be here today. I hope that was um, some help to you in thinking about comparisonitis. And if you want to connect with me, you can find me at www.thewisefamily.com. Um, don't compare my website to anybody else's because it's very special just for us. But um, if you want to talk more about this, I'm happy to jump on with you and, and have a chat anytime. So talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.